Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this hoop skirt. This hoop skirt is going to be a small one. It's going to be for my daughter. The techniques I use can be used to make an adult version. I'm using a pattern of a half circle skirt that I created a while back. To get a circle skirt pattern, I did use a website. I will link it below if you want to take a look at that. This skirt will have three hoops attached to it. So here I'm measuring on the pattern itself where I want those hoops to lay. Here I'm just darkening up those lines so I can see it through the fabric because I will be tracing these lines directly onto the skirt itself. And once one side was done, I flipped it over and did the second side. To hold the hoops in place, I am cutting out one inch wide strips of fabric on the bias so it curves nicely in the skirt. And this skirt took roughly seven yards of this strip. This skirt will also have a four inch ruffle at the bottom. So here I'm cutting that out and I cut out five yards of this skirt. And since the strips were in pieces, I did sew these all together. After those strips were sewn together, I did iron them. The ruffle got a rolled hem at the bottom and the strips to hold the hoops got uh, ironed in half.
This skirt needed a waistband, so we got about a four inch waistband as well. I ironed this down, and to hide the raw edges when I put it on the skirt, I did fold the raw edges upwards so that they would be enclosed when the, it got attached to the skirt. Much like you do when you're attaching bias tape, I attached one edge down and then I flipped it over and top stitched the other edge down. This is the ruffle, I'm just stitching the hem down so that way all the raw edges are encased. Now it's time to attach the ruffle to the bottom edge. I'm not one for gathering things. I like the pleating better. So here I just roughly pleated the ruffle on the bottom of the skirt and then sewed it together.
Now it's time to attach those one inch strips. I went ahead and just sewed the top part along my markings on the skirt and then I sewed the bottom part down too. And I did that for all three strips. For the closure, I attached a zipper below the waistband and then on the waistband I overlapped the edges and attached hook and eye. And once the zipper is all installed, then it's time to close up the back of the skirt. The skirt is almost done. The last part is to add the hoops. I have some plastic boning in my stash because I like to make corsets. So I opted to use that instead of wire. It allows the skirt to be flexible and keep its shape at the same time. And it's also washable. So with the boning, I just put it in the little casing I made and pushed it all the way through. Another benefit with this plastic boning is you can sew through it and since I put the hoops in place I closed up the openings I left in the casings and sewed through the boning as well. Now it's time to finish off the waistband. Like I said earlier, I folded the edges in and then I sewed hooks and eyes to it.
And here's the finished hoop skirt. By no means is it perfect, but it will do the job that I have it intended for, which you will see next month. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next week. Bye!